th think about the loudest sounds you, you can imagine and uh, very, very quiet sounds. The, the, the sound has to be reduced to about, uh, let's say, one one hundredth or even one one thousandth of, of, of the loudest sound you're going to, to uh, be recording before you can start noticing any noise. Um, it all depends on the width of the tape and, and things like that, how much hiss is coming from it. <clears throat> but um, there's this big ratio between, between uh, these, these quantities, and that's what enables, it, enables us to create a noise reduction system that gets around this problem. And the, the method used is to um, allow the loud sounds and the quiet sounds go straight on through. You don't do anything to those signals. And then you have a side channel which uh, compresses or limits uh, the, the loud sounds, and it keeps on limiting them. I mean, as the signal level goes down, let's say the signal becomes a hundred times or a thousand times less than the maximum signal level, then this limiter stops working. Um, and uh, by, by using this, the output of this limiter to cancel the noise that's coming through during the playback process, you can get rid of that noise, the hiss. Um, and, and I've designed noise reduction. My first noise reduction systems reduced the, uh, uh, the noise level by 10 decibels. Uh, the, my next noise reduction system, 15 years later, uh, reduced the noise by 20 decibels. And then finally I had, had one that, that uh, reduced the, the noise by uh, um, 24 decibels, which is the so-called SR system.